back to saying your stand will be the So judge. what what I really like in part four is I never noticed it when I was reading the manga, but I'm realizing realizing it now that I'm watching the anime. His hat, he has tons of hats. Oh yeah. Because the, white ones, blue because ones. Because the hand the hand is always there, but yeah. the other thing that's on the hat changes constantly. Oh for sure. Um, so sometimes it's a dolphin. Sometimes yeah. it's a big uh, fi uh, a big star or you know, whatever. By the way, did you know that... No, of course you didn't. But the way that Jotaro fucking dies... Yeah, yeah, I, you I saw did saw that. It. No, I didn't. Okay, the way he dies... Uh, oh, no team-ups with anything, really? That's crazy. That's nuts. That what sucks. a loser. Damn it, hold on, what about weather report? Besides Jolene, anybody? Anybody? I guess it's probably like Poochie or something. Yeah, probably. Alright, well, I'll find. Uh, we'll do, uh, I'll do Narkin. Nark. Whatever. Um, the, 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 the way that Jotaro dies is the exact same. He gets split right down the face by Made in Heaven. That's rough. Right? Like, like his eye, down the eyeball, specifically. And that is the exact prediction that Oingo Boingo's comic made. Back in fucking Stardust Crusaders. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. The same fucking panel of Jotaro dying is what happens fucking three parts later. That's great. That's super good. Amazing. Boingo Boingo's an idiot. He had the best end. He didn't know it, though. But his stand, I feel like his stand made stupid things happen. Yes. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't just read the future. And Sea Moon's fucking weird. Dude, it's not as cool as White Snake. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. I actually really like that it's that weird, but... It's weird. I, the weird is fine, right? Like, it's weird in the same way that... Um... Oh, good luck. It's weird in the same way that um, King Crimson's weird. Yeah. It looks really angry, and it looks like it's not here to fuck around. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's got no time to fuck around. Yeah, King Crimson's weird double face thing always creeps me out. Where it's got a smaller version of its own head on its forehead. Sure. That's... Uh, I don't like that. But, uh... But the fact that fucking White Snake has all that cool texture on it has that weird leather crown. Yeah, and like, and he also does that that thing from Dio's um, Dio's diaries. It says that like the instructions for going to heaven were also like emblazoned into it as well. Okay. Into his stand, you know, like so that he would never forget. There's some cool shit there, man. Don't underestimate White Snake. Kill, just kill. So he's, but he's pulling gravity towards him. What? Which means this mansion should technically be sideways right now. Does it? Wouldn't that just make people fall towards Pucci? Uh, or away. Okay, if you turn it, it either way. Yeah. Also, also, uh, Sea Moon is its own sentient like stand. Oh, it's a sentient stand. It's like it's exactly like Echoes in that you, it, it talks, it talks, on, talks it, on its own. And does, it can do stuff on its does own. own. Does its own thing. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I don't like that. Like, there's no telling when your stand will be one of those, but sometimes that's what happens. I, like, I, I say that yeah. while I also do really like that Echo's Act 3 swears constantly. But did you see the way it swears? Yeah. It doesn't do it actually in, like, an aggressive way. It spells out S-H-I-T. Yeah. Because it's a super weird stand. It doesn't know what the fuck it's doing. But yes, I Just love like I, I, I love its rude manners. Yeah, you defeated Poochie. I didn't get to dive in. Dude, Diver Down? I'm just noticing that Diver Down and wait, no, I'm I'm wrong. Never mind. I was like, Diver did Diver Down and and New Moon or Sea Moon also have the weird um Tanks on their back. It's like no, I was getting the stance confused. Yeah. No. Diver down's got the D. And it's got the other D because he's diver down and he dove in. Okay. When I first saw his stand, I thought it was uh, I thought it was gonna be tenacious D. 
I, is this an HSD <laughs> a different stand? But, uh, probably. <laughs> I feel like it is. I mean, fucking, there's a stand called, uh, um... Born This Way. Yeah, Born This Way. At yeah, this point. Right. Yeah. So it's like, we're already... We've passed the 80s and 90s. We're into modern. We're, you know, current and future songs are all viable. Just tell us what the stand does, Poochie. Just tell us. Nuh-uh. Man, your hair is so cool. Poochie's got the freshest fucking cuts in, ev in all of JoJo. No matter what anyone How says. How do you get your face to go like that? You get the green baby and you whisper to it. And you say those words. Ah, uh, shut up. The you say the words. God. The baby wants to hear the words. If you say the words, then you two will get a sick ass haircut. Like, the, the, at this point, Joestar is just be like, there's no reasoning with you. Yeah, why are you just... <laughs> anyway. You'd think they'd be done with trying to reason with people willing to die for their evil master. We need to get one of those, you know those things where it's like... You ever see, like, you, you see, like, uh, someone going to the barber, and it's like, Yo, what you in the, what you in the mood for? It's like, yo, you ever see JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? He's like, get out say of my, no, get no, no, out no, of no, no, and then the barber shirt, the barber's like, say no more, fam. And then you just see the guy with the with the high top with the cut that looks like he's wearing a hat. Yeah, that kind of shit. So just like Poochie walks into a barber shop, like, it's like, what you in the mood for? It's like I'm want I'm awaiting the new moon. Uh, I want yeah. to go to heaven. I got you, fam. Say no more, fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. Huh. Uh-huh. I don't... I don't know. Bucci is obsessed with destiny and the idea that humanity can control it on its own. So if he believes that your goals are noble enough <laughs> to guide humanity to the next level... Just lie. Just lie to him. Oh, why do we just go into a cutscene? Dio knows how to pick him, boy. He knows how to fucking pick him. Oh, yeah, he's gonna hit the fucking statue of Athena! Wow! Wow! That's... Awesome. Oh my god. Ride or die. And then Jonathan's like, man, we should move that. <laughs> god damn, Poochie is Poochie is Legato Blue Summers. With more time on the clock. A lot more. Cause the biggest problem and the biggest flaw with Legato was the fact that he was first on the list. You know? Actually, Monev, the Gale, was first on the list. That's not true. But Legato fucking does it. And when he does it, man, boy, oh boy, does he fuck with Vash's head. For all the right reasons. Mm-hmm. Took me a while to figure out what the fuck you were talking about. Legato Blue Summers. Yeah. Which Trigun. One? Yeah. Well, no, you said Vash, so I was like, ah, he's talking about Trigun. I barely, You're, I barely remember. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks. Okay, Legato Blue Summers is basically, uh, the villain that is like, imagine if you know the bad guy from Old Boy. Mm -hmm. Imagine if that guy worked for you. Okay. That level of dedication to the cause. Yep. And spoiler alert for a super old anime. He's basically like Vash's whole deal is I won't kill anybody. Yeah. I'm gonna force you to kill me. Yeah. So that you are you you're you're forced to see the hypocrisy of your of your beliefs, mm -hmm. and knives will be able to go. Ha ha. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Trigun's really like, petty. Sacrifice my life so that my boss, so that my boy, can be like, see, told you so. Yeah, and that's it. Dedication to pettiness. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> It was one of the first animes I ever truly, like, loved. I want to know, I just want to fight Dio at this point. 
Like, I'm done with people saying, like, oh, ooh, what could the secret of Dio stand, you know? Like, well, then, okay, well, hey, there we go. The final battle. <laughs> okay, well, then, then that's that. Uh, we need to, um, prob- I was gonna say we probably have to unlock everyone on the character select screen before we get to the final battle, so why- that's why it's taking so long. Yeah. But at the very least, give me a second to just get my- H Hit the ability trees. And do my thing. Yeah, do your thing. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you know what'd be great? What? No, it's just- actually, no, fuck that. You know what I was just thinking of? Playing some of that uh, Attack on Titan game, and, uh, makes me think- Boy, you fell for that one hard. Sure, but- Like we did, because it's a great yeah, game. Yeah, but, uh, I was thinking about, like, the moment that you get to see, like, because it builds and builds and builds, right, and Levi does some cool things here or there, but then you finally hit a moment where he- he's just allowed to, like, cut loose. Like, you know, like, that- that thing in the- in- in your- in your anime or your manga, where a character- The, the cool- limiter, the cool the guy- The- you know, the cool guy who's not part of the team or whatever? Yeah. Gets to just show up and just tear shit up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You never get that in JoJo, ever. Like, no one- No one that's not villainous ever gets to just come in and just, like- Super easily solve a problem like it's nothing. Like e think of Jotaro well, in, in 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 part four, right? At, uh, Jotaro should be able to come into that situation via any other show or, or story standards, right? And when they're fighting Aqua Necklace, instead of Josuke actually being the one to beat Aqua Necklace, Jotaro sh like Josuke should almost die to him, and Jotaro just shows up and kicks his ass in one second. Right? Because that's the cool character that gets to to show off, and then they get sidelined. Okay. But instead, Jojo takes all your... Whoever is super strong and gets to stick around, always gets, like, phantom nerfed. Like, they get nerfed by matchups. Yeah, because... <laughs> well, you, well, you get phantom nerfed because you're on the hero's team. Yeah. And you're not a villain. Yeah, for sure. I mean... Uh, uh, it, it's the, like the closest I can think of is like Lisa Lisa like icing a, a, a couple vampires like they're fucking nothing at the end of part two. Um, though, what's the, I think I think uh, have uh, weather report gets justice like he actually fucking beasts hard until Poochie is like, I'm cheating now. Time to cheat. <laughs> You know, and it's like, hey, you look at the rainbow, you turn into a slug. Poochie's like, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, White Snake, take out my eyes. Get rid of my eyesight. Okay. <laughs> you know, like it, it, it's like until people start cheating and out cheating each is other. Is that what that is? That's how he avoids you turning into a no, slug. No, but you see the rainbow and you turn into a slug. Yeah, that's what I've been saying the whole time. No, you haven't. Yeah, you have not been saying. That. I said that the whole world or the whole city, everyone in Florida looks up at the sky, sees a rainbow. And now everyone's a slug, and Jolene's nipples are snail, sh uh, snail shells. You didn't say that. That's what happened. You you implied that in your own mind because you knew what you were talking about, but you sure as fuck didn't say any of that. Don't look at the rainbow. I feel like I would have remembered that weirdo shit. Don't look at the rainbow. No so they were like, we need to top off like Polnareff turning people into bugs, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't fucking look. That's your problem if you That's do. That's fucking stupid. It's amazing. And bizarre, in fact. It's the dumbest. That's really fucking bad. That's that's real in there, man. There's a really great one <laughs> that is uh, one, one of Dio's uh, shitty sons. Yeah. Has the ability to... Hmm. hmm. Was there... What was there? What did I have to use? No. Oh, you needed somebody with a ranged ability. Someone with a ranged ability. Yeah, fuck it. Um... There was a really good one where there's a stand that is like things that have happened in the past, specifically like tragedies and deaths. Yeah. You get to relive um what happened under like in in that tragedy underground. So there's a plane crash in a space and in that plane cr like you basically Jolene and crew get stuck on the plane reliving the last moments of what it's like in that crashing plane while everyone on the plane is there. They're like, hey, please stay seated and do not make a ruckus while we all prepare to die. Uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty fucked. That's really weird. It's an interesting one. 
and then they have to I use, like that he, he decides this is so the this spot. This is Kairos where you gotta go. Yeah. You know how they survived that one? No. Uh-huh. Because someone remembers arbitrarily that there's one seat of this plane that there was a famous plane crash that didn't had one survivor and they sat in this one chair. So if we go there, we won't die. Do they all just stack into the same fucking chair? Uh, that's where Jolene goes to. That's yeah. fucking stupid. And there's a great a, a JoJo I, out of context panel where Jolene is like, I'm on a plane and I'm underground and it's going to crash. You need to help me, Emporio. <laughs> and Emporio is just staring at the phone like, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I love, there's a lot of things that I love about this, but as we pointed out before, I just, it's happening again, and it's been, for the final battle, it's like Speedwagon and the horse are there. As they should be. Like, listen, Speedwagon and the Speedwagon Foundation are the Joe Stars stand. Family stand. The family stand yeah. is the Speedwagon Foundation. It's great. Underappreciated. Infinite resources <laughs> and backup and prosperity, and they'll believe you. Infinity into the future. My question is: the salary for working at the Speedway and Foundation must be quite lucrative. <laughs> I wouldn't want to work for the Speedway and Foundation. I mean, I'd... fly over here and give this guy some water in a jeep. Oh no! Oh, oh. Bro, bro. Time to knock on that family's door. What? Why does this... Why do you have a, a flag draped over a water canteen? <laughs> Ma'am, you might need to sit down for this one. Yeah, yeah, Dio, you're so cool. You'll never be defeated. You're so strong. They're getting a little long on the tooth. That's fair. And his death served as a tribute to you! <laughs> Get it? But what if, what if the Joe Stars in your universe are just lame? Like they were just crappy, yeah. and that's how that's why you <laughs> lost. So, because this is... he's droning on a little bit, um... Another fucking a great moment I just remembered is in that last fight in the water with against Pucci and, and Jotaro's there and everyone's there, and it's all going down, for yeah. real. Uh, you get a moment where Dio... St uh, uh, or rather, um... Uh, 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 Jotaro stops time, and he's like, fuck, I gotta use this time now, right? Mm -hmm. It's It's all... it's all or nothing. And, um, he stops time and goes to attack, uh, 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 Made in Heaven, mm -hmm. but then he looks over and he sees that Pucci is his, like, already, is like, you have to either attack me or save your daughter, because, hey, look, knives. <sighs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. And it's like, you motherfucker, like, out of nowhere. It's a good trick. He fucking drops the knives. It's a good trick. And he's so Jotaro's got to go through that again. You know? Whoa! Normal attacks don't do much damage. Team up with a partner, dual combo, and heat attacks to break through his armor. Uh, after Dio gone ahead and used a major attack, his, his aura armor will temporarily... So he's just tougher. Overwrite your allies' minds, minds and make them attack you. When one attacks you, deal a certain amount of damage, then turn back to normal. Or attack Dio when he's charging his aura in, or in order to prevent the overwrite. Okay. So, deal with one or both. Fair I like enough. how the nature of his stand makes his fight, like, very different. And they have to and give him unique mechanics. Yeah. Yeah, it is gonna be here. I thought it was gonna be in space, but that's good enough. Space is lame. Compared to this roof. Cairo means way more to Dio. Although, technically, to this Dio, this is just a place where he won. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, that's great, though! <laughs> But yeah, man, it's fucking nuts. It's like Pucci pulls the knives out for the emotional factor, even. Oh, this music's great. Alright, let's try this. Oh, yeah, you killed him! No. It's a slow build. Yeah! 
Steel could never. Could, oh man. Straight forward into the point. Oh, that's great. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Shit! You properly used time stop in the video game. Oh, that looks so good. Oh man, I think he's doing uh, like a little boss uh, mode. I miss when I was watching it and I thought I I thought that the world was teleportation. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then the mode because I, I learned about it in the OVA. And then I'm like, wait, that's not teleport and then it's oh, it's so good. God damn, that fucking noise. <laughs> that's so what good. we want. So good. That's what you need, man. Um, earlier when we were watching uh, the latest episode where he's fighting sheer heart attack. <laughs> yeah. And you're just- you get to watch Jotaro at his purest and dumbest. Yeah. I'm just gonna punch it harder and harder. You're like, he's a tactician. Oh, he's get, he's gonna try and take over Johnny. You gotta stop him. Yeah. Oh no. Partner gets replaced with enemy, and now he's gonna sit back and watch. Yeah, that's cool. Is he stronger so, than my Johnny though? Probably not. You, but you do have to fight Johnny. Oh now. my God. What is going on with that? Just grab the fucking ledge, bro. No, I'm not gonna take my hand out of my pocket. Okay, it's not actually doing damage to. Oh no, it did. It did do damage to him, actually. Yeah, get him. Hey. Partner, yeah. Oh, and it, it you makes you go one. into. Yeah, it's good. But you're all the way over there. You can do it. No, I oh. can't. Yeah, you can. Look, you're doing it right now. Yeah. I really want, like, an in-universe, like, video that explains how they beat him, because it would be so lame to me if you beat him in the in the cut, in the gameplay, in the game. and then you're just like, well, we beat him. Right? Because that doesn't explain yeah. how you beat him. I also was uh, hoping that we'd see him bamfing all yeah, over the place. Yeah. Okay, so that was round one. But yeah, Jotaro just trying to crack open sheer heart attack with brute punches, force, and it's like idiot. How many? How many? Uh, you're but I'm I'm a you, punch stand. Your hands are gonna explode. He did crack it though. Yeah, he did. So the implication is that he if he did it for long enough, he could have actually destroyed it. Did you understand why um, Koichi's tail didn't? He couldn't use it again. Is it because it got destroyed? Yeah. And then he would have to what? Wait. A day to I, regenerate I, I, it? I don't know. It's gone forever? It's, like, shut up. It's fucking stupid. It's, it's magic. Magic what's ghost. The, what's the timer on no, that? shut up. I want to hear the noise and see all of them fly outwards from the sound. <laughs> <laughs> like one kick, like one spin kick. I bet you're mad, though. This Dio has never suffered defeat, except for that first time with Jonathan. He just overrode himself to be fine. I hope there's an explanation that's not just he's strong. You know what I mean? Like we're, yeah. I hope we're like, cause we are definitely overthinking, and that's that's fine. That's fine. But I really hope there is some. Yeah, his ability is override. But I mean, like, I guess a more detailed version of Override. Like, how and why it works. Because just Override is a bit too simple. Yeah. With your Super Saiyan 3 hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, he's not even using it to its nth degree. The, 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 the strongest version of it is just to stop time and then overwrite so that people don't even notice that anything changed. Yeah. Realistically, he could hand you a book about it. Yeah. 
and then make it so that you never read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! That's great. All that hard work. Oh my god, Mr. President was so important. Mr. President turned. Leave Coco alone. Dicks out for Coco. <laughs> no, that's that. Ooh. That's rough. Wait a minute. Everybody in that turtle's hold, dead. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. He just split them up. I find it weird that you didn't erase them. Okay, never mind. Yeah. You see that comic about Jonathan watching stand battles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, this is interesting. I'm I'm starting to lose the thread here. I am as well. You're not alone. And we're not even talking over it this time. Yeah, I know, right? I teleported you to the dinosaur era, therefore you'll wither away? Like Unless you're Diego. I, well, in which case, you're more than fine. Yeah, I bet. I bet, Jonathan. Why? Because he can't see what's happening. <laughs> is is Dio Stead actually just like also his skin, and does that make him invincible? Invisible right now? No, because <laughs> no, no. Because then same for Speedwagon. Yeah, like at least he can feel the Hammond if there was any, but like Speedwagon's got literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys are all going to leave to go fix that other problem. Uh, so that it's just Jotaro and Adio. God. Jotaro's absolutely going to get the fucking... Oh, yeah. Oh, Jolene Stan. Yeah, hold on. Stone free Requiem. <laughs> And Speedwagon will stay, too! Speedwagon withdraws cruelly. <laughs> what an asshole. Why would he say cowardly? Or like, like a lame-ass? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Speedwagon's fucking face turn was so baffling. Cause it's so fast. <laughs> He takes the hat off, he throws it, and he it nearly decapitates him. <laughs> and he's like, Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get yeah. you. And then Jonathan gives like a little speech. He's like, Oh my I'm turning my whole life around. <laughs> I'm I'm on your side for life, bro. <laughs> I will fucking die yeah. for you. He has that he has that like that moment like the, the confrontation dad that goes, Aah! It's so ridiculous. Because <laughs> like when he when when the hat hits Jonathan and it goes all the way to like his his arm bone, like Speedwagon is gleeful. He's like <laughs> he's like <"Yee!" laughs> yeah. But we've discussed this already. It's, like it's like no, we like and dude, all the villains that turn in their villainous form are unbelievably villainous. Uh, Again, a literal Nazi. That cares nothing about his men being killed left, right, and center. Who they're Nazis too, so sure. Even Nazis hate the Nazis, I guess. Um, That's meta. But he, like, even Rohan, who's like, fucking like. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Those two fucking weirdos that are with him, the ones whose names I can't even remember. Oh, oh, the um. Whatever, the, the Mean Street Posse. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's the fucking wrestlers. No, I, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to have to do all of these again. I, I think maybe, but I hope not. Oh. 
And, it, and I'm guessing that- Because we went to a place called the final battle, and yeah. now we're gonna do a whole extra set of fights with extended cast. I'm guessing it's- it's so that we can, um, unlock them as playable characters. Yeah. That's very likely it. Because you have to beat the story and have everybody on play playable, no? Probably. Isn't that? I feel like the answer to that is probably. Because that's how you should. That's how all those question marks get filled up. Bubbles are lame. Sucks are... that they don't have a combo together. It's weird that they don't. What sucks uh, is that because we don't have the ability or time to show it to you, but there's a video out there with Jonathan talking to all his ancestors. Uh huh. And it's awesome. It's everything that he Wait, says. Wait, Jonathan talking to his ancestors? Sorry, sorry, his descendants. Yeah. And like the words he he, he has for everybody. It's um, like, listen, guys. You know, just like reacting to the idea of stands, reacting to all <laughs> oh, really? Of shit. Yeah. And what? Where is that in this? Uh, it's it's when you team up with. Jonathan and a different Joe Star. Okay. And uh, you get really cool stuff. There's even oh no. There's even um a really good one with uh, uh, uh <laughs> it's Jotaro and uh, and uh, young Joseph. Uh huh. But it's specifically when you put Joseph in his dressing his dress. Yeah. That he uses to fool the Nazis. Yeah. And you go he goes uh, Jotaro's like an adulterer and a crossdresser. I'm fucking done with you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> It was like he Jotaro wants nothing to do with it. That cross-dressing moment with with Joseph is one of my favorites ever because he really thought he was gonna fool them. I'm sure Iraqi did as well. Like he re he is six foot tall. He's a the original Aura Auras. Man. Yeah. You know, it's one- it, Aura Aura is a feeling. We, we saw- It's a thing that is in your blood. We saw it earlier, uh, briefly, in, when you were fighting Dio over Heaven. Uh, when, uh, Jotaro doing his, uh, his double attack. And it's something that I wish we saw more, uh, and... I- I think it looks much cooler than usual. The usual way to show off the stand attacking someone is the stand is, like, three feet in front of that person. Well, the person does a cool laid-back pose. Yes, yeah, And yeah, yeah, the stand yeah. is a human form attacking them. Yeah. But what I think is a hundred times cooler is, uh, the uh, Jotaro standing there, and the arms are just coming out of his body. Uh, yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Star, I, yeah. Star Platinum is mostly non-visible. He's mostly inside but, of Jotaro. But the arms are just coming out, and he's not moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. so much more. Those are- there's some really cool moments where, like, the stand comes out from inside of you, absolutely. Yeah. And, like, that goes with, like, uh, you know, uh, the moments where you see Star Platinum, like, bracing Jotaro's chest. Or kicking off his foot, or whatever. Like, I like the idea of stand as extension of your body. More than, um, uh, completely separated ghosts. Or gold experience just hugging up on Giorno. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's why I like Purple- uh, Purple, uh, Hermit a lot. Um, I feel like Purple Hermit doesn't get enough play. Well, you would definitely like, um, uh, the, what's his name? The Ice Dude. There's a couple of, like, I talked about those stands where it's just armor. Yeah. It's just straight up body armor. There's no face or I'm just a better person. I'm a dinosaur. And I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really good. The, uh, what I, what I really, though, like... Like, hearing that, um, hearing that Part 7 has almost no humanoid stands, like, makes me really happy. It's not true. It's there, there, there. There's a body ahead, arms and legs. But ever since, ever since, like, yeah, Steel Ball Run, they just look less like people yeah. and more like, like weird things. Weir yeah, they look like alive things, but weird things. Yeah. God damn, you still going? Yeah, well, he's tough, man. That did not. That's, that's not even, what he said that at all. Did, that's not even, not even a little close. Man, when you see these two next to each other, you're like, oh my god, these character designs are really, really similar. <laughs> yeah. Like... They're not fooling anybody. Also, getting to see certain JoJo panel, uh, JoJo poses 
from like different angles makes you really see how effeminate some of them are. Like the one that you just saw of, of Joseph with his hand in front of his face and his other arm like way back behind him. Yeah. Like when you see that from the front, it looks cool. But when you see it from the side, it's like super dainty. No, it's always dainty and that's why it's cool. What are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here. It's always been like that. You think fucking leaning back like Jotaro with your head, your hands on your hat and your 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 fucking cock sticking out like you're thrusting mid-air is not just a Madonna move? It's the vogus thing ever, but that's why it's cool. Cause these super buff man dudes. My point is that they look weird from different angles. They though. do. They do. <laughs> but I, I you get to see where the like how their leg is placed and stuff like that that's not like immediately apparent. It's like, but it's just the it, it, it's da like that yeah. particular move looks daintier than I thought. But the whole appeal to me, at least, is like it's so manly that it's feminine. Yeah, look at that feminine it's penis. Rubber, yeah, <laughs> rubber nips. <laughs> that girly penis of yours. <laughs> oh, we're getting in there. Huh? Yeah. Look, the playthrough is about to end. We, is it? We <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't know. I actually think you're gonna have to actually do like another round with nearly yeah. everybody for, for game stretch purposes. Which, but, like, but my point is that now is the time to break JoJo down to its most component pure. parts. It's most pure. It's a penis wearing a dress. <laughs> that is a Araki developing yeah. his, his over the course of thirty years. Yeah. His fetish is evolving. It's honestly, it works when you just imagine the Joe stars as giant penises. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now, is the dress like a little frilly, like well, tu no, 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 tutu? No. And no, does no, it no. go hmm. in in part one? It's like a suit. It's like a penis wearing a suit. But then it starts tearing off its sleeves, right? And, and then, then in part two, it's like, well, maybe if the penis wore a scarf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> then, like by part five, it's like there's mesh on it. There's mesh, and there's a little heart. Yeah, on it. yeah, and then you just add the tutu for yeah. part six, and then in part eight, you're just like, it's got a little sailor hat on. Well, part eight, there's there's a little sailor hat, but there's two pairs of balls. Yeah, did it. <laughs> we did it. That's canon. That's canon. You're gonna have to beat all these motherfuckers again. I apologize to the artists in advance. Oh yeah, the ones that are gonna make all that <laughs> sick Patreon money. <laughs> Drawn at shit. Throw that up on fucking Tumblr and yeah, see, yeah, see what, yeah, yeah. what the followers have to say. This is my new stand. It makes you shit out your dick nipples. <laughs> that wasn't a stand. Yeah. That's the way it was meant that to was be. That was yeah. Ah, god damn it. I hate Chashu. You sh you're supposed to. I hate him. You're supposed to. It's fucking lame. I hate him too, but I'm supposed to hate him, so... It's okay. That's, that's what... Wait a second, when was the last time you were able to save? Uh, a while ago. So after this fight, let's save. But in between this fight and this fight, the uh, last fight and this fight didn't give you the chance to save. Hmm. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? They're gonna make you fucking do all of them in a row. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, then we're gonna test the, the limits of the PlayStation's rest mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's pretty good as long as it's not an online game. Although that counter keeps going up, even though I'm not playing the game. Yeah, that's really weird. It's like, look at all the time you spent not playing. Or it's my it favorite to thing to do. <laughs> adding it to the clock. Uh, you're right in that we went straight into another conversation, but I feel like I can at least pause and go to the, the save and quit. This guy's such a loser. His stand is pretty sick, though. Um, in that, yeah, you pull the screws out, and, uh, your, your arm just falls off, or some part of your body just falls, just drops right out. Yeah. It's like, oh, there were screws holding that together that you didn't know about, that didn't exist until my stand told you that they were there. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. There's a stand, by the way. Oh. <laughs> you love these. There's I know you love these. a stand, by the way. That's like, called, it's called... Uh, you're just making these up now. It's called... Uh, uh, um, uh, Shakedown... Shakedown Road, or Shakedown Alley. I forgot what the name... It's the name of the song. Yeah. Whatever. But it's a street... Where... 
fucking nice horse combo. Ah, oh, god damn it. Combo. Are you even locked on? Fuck it, I'll just, I'll just snipe. I'll do this the lame way. Do it lame. Okay. So, the street has a bunch of trees with leaves on them, right? Okay. And these leaves mm. have the ability yes. to make things happen in a way that it makes you do an action, like you slip on the leaves and go somewhere, and then you don't notice what happens, mm -hmm. and then you come back to where you were, and then you don't know what happens, but someone else nearby saw it happen. So a bunch of people on it stand around, and they let you break things, or they, for, they like, you slip into things and whatever, and then they fucking exploit you for the money. In the most Japanese way possible. Like, don't walk away and say nothing's wrong. We know, we're watching you. And then they use- I am so confused by this explanation. So wait, I go and I slip on the leaf, and I break something, and then I don't know what happened, but I did break it? The leaves have stands. Shake down out. Okay, right, right. Okay. The leaves themselves. So it's the street is shaking people down? The leaves. The leaves. On the tree. Individually. Are stand users. Okay. That's what it seems to be so far. This is a part A thing. <laughs> oh. That was interesting. It looked like I punched the, the thing out of him. It did look like that. And it's cool because he said thank you to him, because that's the guy I'm punching. Anyway, yes. I think, so far, until further explanation is given, I think no, that- No, it's the street that has the stand! But then what is a street? What is a road? Where does that concept begin and end? Oh, the radio tower had a stand. So. But no, it wasn't the radio tower, it was the guy. He controlled the radio uh, tower. Well, no, he actually controlled it really badly. Yeah. Uh, he was stuck inside of it. So we're adding plants to things that control their stands this, better than Holly Joe Star. This might be the case. A fucking leaf. Uh, and at that point, is where, Holly Joe Star even alive? Like, what's the? Where is your limp? Like, this forest is. When every blade of grass has a stand. Well, that's actually a very Shinto uh, idea. Mm. Right? Like, every rock, every stream, every every tree has a spirit. Right, right, right. Put their stand. How do you- you- what do you do? That fucking- that- that bubbling cr- uh, that fucking creek wants to play poker. Did you see the- that fucking, um, American TV show? Somebody linked us yeah. to Yeah! That's totally just JoJo for yeah. an American television. Well, to me it sounded more like, um, uh, Assassin's Creed and it's, uh, uh Pieces of Eden. Yeah. That, and, but I looked at But they're into random it, magical objects. And they have, like, this- you tap this pencil, and then the- Pennies your, come out. Pennies come out. Like, that's it. It's- I, I watched some parts of it, it looks really cool. <laughs> it's too long for me to actually go through all of it. Yeah. But it sounds really it's interesting. It's like the bus ticket teleports you to some random lo location. The, the pen sets you on fire. The key opens a door to a pocket dimension. Yeah. Where you can st store things forever. Yeah. Which is the titular room. Okay, so here in theory... Mode select? In theory. Yeah. You should be able to save. Well, okay, say yes. We're not that far. Right? And then go and continue, and then... Right? And then we'll, we'll see where, where it happens. Come on, video games. Yeah, come on. Don't shit on us. We never shit on you. We sh- What? <laughs> That is the biggest. <laughs> You've never lied harder, ever, <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. Uh, if you had a stand that made, yeah, okay. If you, so we could just, yeah. Right. Uh, whoa. If you had a I, stand, that was a harder quit than I expected. You, if you made a, if you had a stand that made things that you said true, you would like cease to exist <laughs> upon uttering that statement. <laughs>